math behind beauty what makes a face beautiful is it the eyes a nose a radiant smile certainly all these play an important role but in the aesthetics industry the answer is a mathematical ratio ever heard about the phrase her beauty is mathematical why is it that we tend to regard certain beautiful as beautiful regardless of their race or skin color why is it that some monuments look so pretty while some do not the simple answer behind all these questions is the golden ratio what exactly is a golden ratio the golden ratio is a special ratio also known as phi that approximately equals 1.618 it's also known as the golden section golden mean and the divine or golden proportion phi is like pi in the sense that it is an irrational number there is no equivalent fraction for phi and its decimal keeps going and never stops to understand how to use the golden ratio in design you need to understand the main principles behind it there is a close relationship between the golden ratio and the fibonacci sequence what is a fibonacci sequence fibonacci sequence is a naturally occurring sequence whereby each number within the sequence is the sum of two previous numbers for example 1 1 2 3 5 8 and so on you can refer to our previous video on fibonacci sequence and its existence in nature to know more about it the connection between the fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio is that the ratio 1.618 can be found the whole way along the fibonacci sequence by dividing any number within the sequence by its immediate predecessor The result will always be approximately 1.618. Watch the video till the end to know how maths is omnipresent even without attractiveness and understand how it is used to determine the beauty. Since the Renaissance period, artists like Botticelli and Leonardo da Vinci have used the golden ratio in the sketching of their paintings such as Mona Lisa or birth of venus we may be unaware of it but we subconsciously judge beauty by facial symmetry and proportion cross cultural research has shown that no matter the ethnicity our perception of beauty is based on the ratio proportions of 1.618 as the face comes closer to this ratio it is perceived as more beautiful As an example, the ideal ratio of the top of the head to the chin versus the width of the head should be 1.618. How do we use the golden ratio to measure the ideal face proportions? The distance from the top of the nose to the center of the lips should be 1.618 times the distance from the center of the lips to the chin. The hairline to the upper eyelid should be 1.618 times the length of the top of the upper eyebrow to the lower eyelid. The ideal ratio of upper to lower lip volume is 1 is to 1.6. The lower lip should have slightly more volume than the upper lip. Scientists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences have found that certain facial measurements such as the distance between the mouth and nose and the width of the mouth and nose tend to expand with age this means that with age even faces that were previously considered symmetrical tend to deviate from the golden ratio using this mathematical formula one of the most beautiful female faces that confirms to the golden ratio are amber rose with 91.85% match her eyes eyebrows nose lips chin jaw and facial shape were measured and 12 key marker points were analyzed and found to be 91.85% on the similar lines 
some more celebrities with the beautiful faces are Kim Kardashian with 91.39% match, Kate Moss with 91.06% match and Selena Gomez with 89.97% match. Similarly, the coveted first place title for the most beautiful male celebrity belongs to none other than George Clooney, whose face matches at 91.86%. Surely, his face cut does seem to have a pretty symmetrical and proportionate ratios. On the similar lines, some more celebrities with the beautiful faces are Bradley Cooper with a match of 91.8%, Brad Pitt with 90.51% match and Harry Styles with an 89.63% match. With age, fat around the eyes, cheekbones, the inner jawline and sides of the face disappears, allowing our face to lose volume, leaving patients with a hollowed, sunken appearance. We have just started our YouTube journey, so please show us your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Even the dimensions of our teeth are based on five. The front two incisor teeth form a golden rectangle with a five ratio in the height to the width. The ratio of the width of the first tooth to the second tooth from the center is also five. The ratio of the width of the smile to the third tooth from the center is five as well. Beauty is not just in the eyes of the beholder. But there is a method behind it. And now we know why is it so. Right from the denture arrangement to our facial symmetry, Maths works to make us look a bit more attractive. The video explains the concepts using numerous examples and visuals to make it easy for you to understand. Let us know in the comment section which point amazed you the most and stay tuned for similar interesting concepts. We will see you in the next video.